Next up, we're going to cover uh, bank and weight as they relate to performance. So, <clears throat> if you've got um, a bank, uh, excuse me, if you want to increase your rate of climb uh, with on a single engine, what you want to do is you want to use uh, three to five degrees of bank. And uh, the reason for this is because if you have an aircraft, and uh, let's say that your aircraft right here is straight and level, uh, and let's say that you have a secondary aircraft right here, and this aircraft is banking. Uh, same aircraft, same idea, um, except that uh, one of them has continued straight and level, and one of them has decided to bank. Now, what you might think is you might think, well, we've got weight and we've got excuse me we've got weight and we've got lift here and we've got weight and we've got actual lift here which means that we've got a vertical component of lift here and we've got a horizontal component of lift here and the vertical component of lift is what keeps us up in the air and so in this case uh, you would want no bank whatsoever because your vertical component of lift will be greater than over here where you're trading some of it away in order to get horizontal component of lift. Now you might think that uh, and that would actually be a pretty reasonable thought but in this case it turns out it's not correct. So instead here's what happens. Let's say that uh, let's say that you've got your aircraft airplane here and you've got your airplane here except this one's banking so there we go. And uh, we'll draw the weight on. Yep, we've got weight, and we'll draw vertical component of lift. Yep. And then over here, we'll draw weight. There's weight. Here's vertical, excuse me, here's actual component of lift. And here's the vertical. And here is the horizontal. Now, let's see what these airplanes look like from the top. This is the top-down view of the aircraft. There's the one. And here's the other. Both airplanes are traveling forward. So that represents the path of travel, and this right here represents the path of travel. So you've got both aircraft traveling forward, except that the one on the right, this one over here, is well aligned um, with the direction of travel. Uh, this airplane over here on the left is not aligned with the direction of travel. It's actually traveling in a side slip. Now, as we know from landing, uh, this over here is more side slip, and this over here is less. So there we go. More side slip here, less side slip here. Because you've got some horizontal component of lift right there, um, you don't need to slip as much. You don't need to use as much rudder, therefore you won't be slipping as far. As we know from doing landings, a slip is an extremely high drag configuration. So more side slip, therefore more drag less side slip over here, less drag. And if you have more drag, you're going to have less performance. Whereas over here, less drag equals more, more performance. So, all of that in mind, if you don't bank, you'll get more side slip, you'll get more drag, and therefore you'll perform worse. If over here you bank a little bit, three to five degrees, you'll get less side slip, less drag, and therefore you'll get more performance. So that's a reason why you don't want to have uh, zero bank. Zero bank is unacceptable, three to five degrees of bank is better. Now, let's see what happens. Maybe I can delete all of this. There we go. That was cool. Okay. Now let's see what happens if you bank a ton. Um, let's do this right here. 
select this guy right here and we'll move it over there I wonder why I couldn't do that before All right. now let's say that you bank the airplane a ton you've got just a massive amount of bank going on right here well you're going to be able looking from the top down you're going to be able to fly almost straight almost perfectly aligned with your direction of travel so here you are and you're almost 100 percent aligned with your direction of travel which is great so you would think to yourself alright I've got almost no side slip which is cool because you've got almost no drag so you would think you would get great performance right maybe great performance well maybe not because remember you've got weight going on right here yeah and what's happening is you're generating lift you're generating lift perpendicular to your wings here is your vertical component of lift and here is your horizontal component of lift because you're banking so much you're left with almost no vertical component of lift your vertical component of lift has decreased significantly and in fact it's not enough to overcome the weight so in this case because you're banking so much you've got no side slip almost no drag but you don't get great performance because you don't have enough vertical lift in order to overcome weight in the first place so if you bank by three to five degrees you strike a balance you've got good vertical lift enough to overcome weight whereas over here if you bank more than five degrees you're losing vertical lift now if you bank less than um, excuse me if you don't bank at all I'll just quickly redraw this right here you've got excellent vertical lift you've got weight but again remember that you're side slipping and so you've got a ton of drag so really the question here is not should I bank a whole bunch or should I bank zero the question is or excuse me the answer is you should bank three to five degrees three to five degrees because that's going to strike the perfect balance it's going to give you minimum side slip while still giving you maximum vertical lift which is why you want three to five degrees of bank now over here on the VMC side steeper bank of any amount is good um, if you don't care about performance then for the VMC you can bank up to like 40 degrees 45 degrees as much as you want however we limit that over on the performance side to three to five degrees of bank so a lot of the time you'll see people let's redo that you'll see people say to lower VMC use three to five degrees of bank now that's not entirely correct because it has nothing to do with VMC but it is helpful to increase performance for technical correctness we're just going to leave it here and we're going to say a steeper bank and then over here on increasing rate of climb we're going to say three to five degrees however whichever way you want to write it is also correct you can say yeah you can say three to five degrees of bank if you want uh, or you can just leave it as steeper bank if you want same difference uh, the rest of these should be fairly self-explanatory so they're probably all going to be done in one video